Luke, Tom, and Nate here with the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, and we're going to Alaska. Yeah! Now you guys may not know this, but I was born and raised in Alaska, and most of my family still live there. So every once in a while, we like to go up and visit family and do some fishing and camping and just let the boys kind of uh, experience my childhood memories a little bit. We are going to have a ball, and we're going to be there for two weeks. But first, we've got to fly on a plane for nine hours to get from here in Virginia all the way to Anchorage, Alaska. It's going to be a long day. <laughs> Fishing rod, buddy. Guys, we're here in Alaska and it's only 4 a.m. Virginia time. Whoa. We finally made it after being on a plane for nine hours and change. Uh, we, we landed in Anchorage a little before midnight last night and got to see a little bit of the sun disappear right as we were landing. But we've got a full day today. We've got to uh, go and pick up some gear from the fishing store to get ready, say hi to some family, and then we're going to head up to a cabin up uh, near Talkeetna and do some fishing. But first, we need to get some food, Tommy. What do you say we go get some food? Yeah. All right, let's do it. You hungry, Tommy? Yeah. Let's get that car out my way. <laughs> So we're gonna get a bunch of bagels and waffles and pancakes and some reindeer sausage bagels. So this is gonna be good. God, I'm so tired. All right, Tommy, you hungry? I hope you're hungry, but it is a lot of food. Oh. We got food. Yeah. <laughs> no. 
Alright buddy. Boys. Here, run on the inside. Can you take a picture of the bear and me? Hi, Look bear. at that. Tell me, what's what's that over there? You see that polar bear? Mm. This, this foot is bigger than my hand. <laughs> it's a lot bigger than your hand. He's so big, he, he could eat you for dinner. Let's see, elk hair caddis. Fours. We're gonna go some number ones. Oh, take a look at that. He's dead. Yeah. That was spinning. Yeah, they got the big old propeller on it. What are you yelling at them for? See, these are beavers. Yeah. See this? These are beaver hides. There's the black bear. See? See, look, and there's there's the bear claws. You like that? Yeah, maybe they saw them to make them blankets. Yeah, there you go. There's some whale baleen and some ducks that we shot in Arkansas. Trout from the Katmai River. Yeah, I carved that when I was in high school. I don't know whose deer that is. I think that's Uncle Jim's. Yeah, I can't believe we're in Alaska fishing too. Isn't it great? Oh, the river looks a little high, but not bad at all. All righty. Like no bears here. Yeah, thank goodness. We don't want any bears here. My cousin, but my cousin just brought me, but my cousin. Tommy, are you cold? Uh-huh. 
But don't worry, Daddy. I could be fixed up. You could be fixed up. Mommy keep you all dry. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry you're not feeling well, bud. Yeah. Okay, we'll go get you dry. Long nose sucker. Closest thing to a carp we get in Alaska. Anywhere you find salmon, and even a few places you don't, you generally find these. And uh, you got a mouth on the bottom of their chin. Great at detecting salmon eggs and eating, they love to eat salmon eggs. So if you're fishing for salmon with salmon eggs, they'll often catch these. Good sized little fish though. It's about a, a normal size, full grown one. They get a little bigger than this, but not too often. But uh, great fish, great fun. Put them back. Well, I've been fishing here for about two hours and so far I haven't seen any salmon. I haven't seen anything run or jump or not really any bites I could say that's a salmon. Gotten a lot of little nibbles, which probably Dolly Varden or whitefish or burbot or grayling. But uh, who knows? It's been a little bit of a slow year from what I hear and I'm also a little bit late. That's the real nail biter is, uh, this is the third week of August and normally the first week of August is the, the, the sweet time that you wanna be here. So hopefully I haven't missed the salmon run but uh, mornings are often best and it's evening, it's slowly getting dark. So maybe tomorrow morning I'll have a little bit better luck. We'll see what happens. Oh, there you go. Oh! Look at this. Let's see. Let's see what's going on. <laughs> that, my friends, is a silver salmon. Like, oh. I think the school just came. Oh. Well, I gotta get another rig out there. The school's in thick. Let's do this. I was just in the middle of telling you guys how slow it was, and wham, the bite alarm goes off, and I catch this pretty little silver salmon. Get the hook out, throw my rig back out there, and before I'm even done, another fish. Now I'm just getting another bite. This is, this is how it is, you know? It's absolutely nothing going on. Then a school of them comes in and it's red hot. Oh, oh popped out. With salmon, it's all about timing. It doesn't matter how good of a fisherman you are, if you're not in the right spot at the right time, you're not gonna catch anything. And frankly, when you're in the right spot, at the right time, it's hard to miss. It's really hard to screw it up. Well, I've been in Alaska for 24 hours now and I already have uh, four salmon flays. So things are off to a good start. Uh, this is gonna be 
it's going to be a good trip. I uh, ran out of daylight, but uh, I'm going to try to get some sleep, get up early, and see if we can't catch some more tomorrow morning. Well, Tommy fell in the river and got himself pretty wet, so i got to dry his socks out before tomorrow, so... Yep. <sighs> well, not quite sure this microwave doesn't have a, have a sock setting, so I'm going to give it a minute or two, see if that helps. All right, it's a beautiful morning. It's a little before 7 a.m. And uh, I'm gonna go see if we can't get some more salmon. Oh, I really am gonna have to sleep sometime during this trip, but it's not gonna be today. <laughs> can catch salmon in the middle of the day but man right around sunrise is the best fortunately sunrise in the summertime in Alaska is very early so yeah isn't this a beautiful spot but this is bear country in the middle of salmon season so I'm uh, packing my heat Got a can of bear mace. The Alaskan state bird. The mosquito. The suckers are huge up here. <laughs> Come here. Come to Papa. What a great way to spend a morning. I just had a ball catching this sucker. There we go. And there's salmon eggs. There's the salmon eggs. All right, let's get cooking. I, I have hunted and gathered, my love. <laughs> Look, Nathan, those are salmon. Honey. Yeah, we're gonna you, eat it for lunch. Can you cook it up with some sprinkles? I like sprinkles. Okay, we'll put some sprinkles on. Oh, don't forget the frosting. And frosting? Okay, we'll get the frosting on there too. There you go, fresh Alaska silver salmon that I caught a few minutes ago. Mmm. That's uh, it's really good. This ponzo is delicious. Mmm. Oh. You want to try it? This is salmon. See? I'm going to try it here. See, we're going to dip it in this sauce. Okay. Try that. Mmm. You like that? Mm hmm. What does it taste? What do you think? Good. Do you want some more? No. <laughs> yeah, not <laughs> All right, lunch is served. So we've got uh, what, some barbecued corn, fresh salmon, kale salad, uh, rosemary, a loaf of bread, like it was like rosemary and olive oil. Uh, so we got some fresh blueberries. Let's do this. Now that right there is an Alaskan lunch. Look at that, fresh salmon, some blueberries. This is how you go to Alaska right here. This is what fishing's all about. I've never had. I mean, this is really good. Oh, I'm glad you liked it. And I gotta tell you, I enjoyed it, and I'm not a huge seafood fan, so... Suffer pillow fight! <laughs> Once you're down, you win! <laughs> okay! <laughs> <laughs> Come on guys, let's go on four wheelers! Oh, four wheelers are fast! You're going to watch yeah, them! Yeah, you're gonna 
<laughs> I love you so much. Hello. Hello. Hi, Mammy. Love you, Nathan. Do you have fun, Nathan? You like the four wheelers? Mm -hmm. It was wet. Hey, wet. Did you get wet? Good thing Daddy put you in your rain gear. Nathan. You can wipe Tommy off with blood. It's probably my hair, isn't it? Much actually. Oh. Mm -hmm. I can't. Nathan, Nathan, hey Nathan, did you have fun? Okay, there you go, buddy. You want to dip it in the cheese? Go for it. Oh yeah. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check out part two of our Alaskan adventure, where me and my brother go hunting for ptarmigan and caribou and fly fishing for grayling on the Denali Highway. And if you like this video, don't forget to click subscribe to the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel. We put out new videos every week. Thanks for watching.